Your next car from Motor Vogue in Bury St Edmunds. Big choice, that's our style. On TV, on radio, and on your smartphone, this is Talk TV. Good evening, welcome to First Edition. On the programme tonight, an urgent meeting of Northern Ireland's police board will be held tomorrow after two data breaches splashed every officer's name and rank across the internet. Water firms stand accused of a scandalous cover-up over just how much sewage they're pumping into our rivers. And at 10.30 we'll have a full review of tomorrow's newspapers, including this story. The 11 dispersal orders police issued after an incident on London's Oxford Street following social media rumours of planned disorder. That's all with uh, Wednesday night's panel. Observer columnist and leader writer uh, Sonia Soda and comedian uh, Jeff Norcott. All right, uh, thanks for joining us. Let's take a look at the front pages that have come in so far. We'll start with the Metro. Former BBC comic Hardeep Singh Kohli is charged with historic offences. On to the FT, Chinese tech giants are racing to acquire new NVIDIA AI chips. All right, uh, so that's where we are. That's what we have at the moment. We'll bring you more front pages as soon as we see them. OK, our top story tonight. Northern Ireland's police board's holding an urgent meeting tomorrow after two data breaches uh, splashed the name and rank of every officer across the internet and into the hands of criminals. The first was apparently a mistake, publishing 10,000 names and ranks by what looks like simple human error. The second, a robbery that saw a laptop with more officer details stolen from a private vehicle in July. Well, as the force declares a critical incident over the leaks, a more deliberate breach is worrying those at the top of government. And that's news that hostile actors have been targeting the fundamental basis of our democracy, with hackers lurking undetected inside the Electoral Commission systems for more than a year. So tonight we ask, is your data really safe? And who wants it? The Northern Ireland breach presents the most immediate danger. One of the police service's most senior officers was shot and nearly killed uh, this year. And many members of the force do their best to actually avoid telling people what they do for a living. More than 300 officers were murdered during the Troubles, while three have been assassinated and many more attacked over the last 15 years, targeted by bombs or gunmen. Well, joining me now is John Laverty of the Belfast Telegraph, uh, fresh from getting his newspaper ready for tomorrow. Uh, welcome, John. Um, one breach last yes. night became two today. And um, outline for us what sort of danger this poses for officers. Well, the the, the thankful thing was that the addresses weren't um, were released. I mean, but it's still a, a, a it's an awful breach.